Hi, uh, welcome to Survival Skills. So I'm still doing some work on Gibcraft, but I'm kind of done there for now. I'm going to go back and do some other things, but I was looking for inspiration because um, I've done so much, so many big builds on there. Uh, I didn't know what to do next. So now I'm playing on this server here. This is a server that was set up by one of our subscribers and we created a new world here and just having a lot of fun um, going through the, the new world thing, you know, in Minecraft. I really like early game. So that's what we've been doing. And this is our first settlement. And uh, I'm, I'm in creative mode so that I can fly around and show you things quickly today. So let me flip into first person and um, let me just get up in the air here so you can see this settlement. So we spawned uh, over here, over in that direction right there on the other side of that hill. And we walked over here and we saw this uh, this nice little setup here right next to the ocean. So we decided to build here. So we uh, we did our first house, uh, which is right under here underneath me. So we, uh, we, you know, we got our house going. We got our fishing dock going. We've got our farm going. Um, and, you know, I really like the geometry of this farm. Um, the way this was done, the way it wraps around, you get a, a nice view of it. Uh, it is, you know, I, I really don't like building squares anymore. Um, so got some cactus out there, found a desert and got some cactus and then did these uh, really neat little animal pens. These are not my, my idea. I did the, uh, the nano farm back there. So we got a triple nano farm there, plenty of food and leather, tons of that. And then we got our show cows out front and I really like these little lean to designs. Uh, got a couple of uh, several nice horses. Got some leather horse armor on that guy there. Um, and then we've got diamond horse armor out of the um, nether fortress. So that was a nice find. And uh, I just really like the design of these, uh, these lean tees. They're, they're, they're each slightly different, a little bit different, a little bit unique. And uh, they just look great in this environment. So we've got sheep, cows, didn't bother with pigs. We had chickens. They're more show chickens now. You know, we don't, we got lots of food and plenty of food from the nano farms. So we got all the, all the basic farms. We've got uh, carrots and potatoes and beetroot down there. And um, then let's see, we did some, uh, a little bit of fishing and um, got our boat dock there. So we did some exploring off out of there. Got a nice little uh, setup for the animals here. And I, I recently acquired a parrot that I'm gonna move in here. But uh, this, this uh, cat was uh, used to belong to a, a witch um, who befell uh, some misfortunes. So I took the cat in and um, the dog protected from the rain, got a nice comfy, cozy little place to hang out there. And then I built this, uh, this place here to be a, a, an AFK fishing hut, but, um, you know, the AFK fishing doesn't work on here. It, it's kind of broken on servers in 1.14, uh, uh, 1.14. So I converted this, uh, the fishing setup, I just converted this, bu uh, this building into a storage area. So this is where we've got our, our end loot and our dragon egg. And you saw the dragon head out front, out front there. And that's where I put my elytra when I'm not using them. And then down underneath, I just made space down there. I had space down there for the fish farm. That's just been, been repurposed to a, you know, a storage area. So we've got plenty of storage. And then we went uh, um, to the, I flew, I didn't fly. I took a boat west and uh, found a village. So then we built a, a nether portal. The village is only like 500 blocks that way. We did our nether portal and then we did a uh, linked portal to that village over there and we brought the villagers through uh, the portal here into this breeder. So this is our villager breeder and uh, it's just basically three beds. We've got three villagers in the re there right now. Uh, if we move one of those villagers out like into one of these trading stalls and cover them up, they won't be able to see them from inside here. So when we throw them some carrots, we'll have two guys in here then throw them some carrots, they'll breed another villager for us. So if this is a very simple, easy, easy, easy 
villager breeder that has served us quite well. We got all these villagers out of it. We got all these uh, really great trades. Cartographer, prot four, UB three, looting three and flame, efficiency four. And then over here, we've got feather falling four, silk. And of course, everybody needs mending. We can buy diamond tools from this guy, so we don't have to mine diamonds for tools. And uh, then we got all of our ender pearls to get us to the stronghold and light up the, the, um, the end portal from this um, cleric. So now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this breeder. We, we want a couple more trading stalls. We left here room here for a couple more. Uh, but we're going to use the breeder to breed villagers to send back through the portal back to the village over there. And we've been terraforming the village and building um, houses at the village so that we can um, repopulate it um, because it was just in sad shape when we found it. Let me see if I can find it. So here's the village. Let's go take a look at the village. I'm going to teleport over there. So um, this was kind of fun because this all looked like, like this. It was just full of stuff like this. The terrain was just completely messed up. So um, I want to put a, a fence around the village. So what I did was I uh, used World Edit and flattened all this out, made a nice flat area, and we decided we're going to just build houses up here. So we're going to build this all out, and then we're going to repopulate. And then we uh, cleared out the area down below here too, so we can build more down there and populate that. So this will be a, a thriving village by the time we get done with it. And I don't know if we'll do anything over here. I suppose we will. But we haven't quite got around to that area just yet. So we got tired of, uh, we, we worked on this till we got tired of it. And then we, uh, we strapped on the Elytra and we headed west that way. And so uh, let's, let's pop over there and I'll show you what we found. Um, so we've got another uh, home built over there. We found these um, these big caves and um, let's see before I show you around let me show you the outside I like this door by the way you got a crouch to get through it it's just two trap doors like that and like that and it just makes a good looking door so um, we found this bamboo jungle we flew west and found this bamboo jungle and we found some pandas over there and um, there's a desert biome here. There's dark oak over this way. There's, uh, and you can't really see it because of the render distance, but believe, trust me, it's over there. And then there's swamp over there. And there is um, uh, acacia over here. And then we found this, which is kind of what I was looking for. We were both looking for when we were flying out this way as we wanted to find a neat place to build. We wanted to, you know, do some uh, creative mode building. So um, we found these giant uh, caves here and uh, in this this nice uh, area with this uh, nice rock formation on this plateau. So uh, we decided to build out these caves. So these are the entrances and this is just bamboo here. Seems to good, do, do a good job of keeping the mobs out. And then uh, we put glass on the front of this one. Decided to make this the entrance into the, into the caves. Got a little uh, like hangout area around the campfire there. And we can do some fishing down there if we want to. You can see we didn't light it up. So we're getting tons of mob spawn out here. But we don't care because um, we don't come out here at night and hang out. Um, anyway, inside. We had this cave to work with. We had actually had two caves. And when we first came here, they weren't connected. So what we first thing we did was we connected them. We just dug this out and connected the, the two caves. And this is the larger of the two. And then uh, we deta detailed this one out. So you can see, I, I, I can't show you a before and after. But, you know, it was just a flat, smooth stone wall. To start with, uh, a little bit of cobblestone, some mossy cobble, some um, andesite, cracked stone brick. You know, just different textures and stuff. Just completely changes the look. 
of one of these uh, caves makes it a really nice place. And then um, I thought this water was a fantastic addition to it. It just looks really nice in here now. So this has become kind of became a nature and relaxation area. You can just come in here and you can just relax and have a drink and uh, enjoy the nature, enjoy the, the nice fire and the birds. Um, so that's what that is. And then over here, we've got kind of a, a living area for all the animals and um, a, a little area for chests and um, crafting and just basics. Um, not, you know, just, just something to build, something to, to make it look nice in here. And then this is our storage area back here. You go through a Jeb door. You've got tons of room back here for storage. And then a um, place to read here and uh, study and a place to sleep up there if we want. And then down into the main living area here, um, another nice cozy fire, some places to sit. We've got our kitchen over here, freezer. Um, and then uh, another kind of a, um, oh, this is storage, storage area and bookshelves, you know, like a little library type of a setup, more for decoration than anything. And um, then I thought this was neat. I've never seen this before, but this, these are like sleeping bags. So um, you just uh, dig down one block, put your bed in there, put some carpet over the top of it, and it looks like this. So... Um, we have sleeping bags in here. So I, I thought that was kind of cool. So I, I like some of these little detailing tricks that this person I'm playing with knows. I'm learning a lot from him. So um, that's what we've been working on today. Uh, this was one day one day of work. Uh, actually, just a few hours of work. So uh, exploring and doing this place was what we did today. So I just thought this was nice. I just thought I would show it off. Um, I don't have any real fancy farms or anything to show you in the videos. Uh, we've done all the all the basic farms. You'll probably see me do them again because I do them every time I do a new world. Um, but you know, I haven't been doing a lot of building in the past. I want to do more of that, so that's what this is about. Um, the other thing we did here, I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't think I did, was this portal and we just kind of decided to go over the top with this. Um, like this rock formation here, wanted to put something fancy there, and uh, why not make it contrast? Not everything has to blend. So um, working in creative mode, we you know we're rich beyond our wildest dreams. We can afford all this this uh, crazy uh, carved quartz and smooth quartz, um, and we did a a nice. Uh, I liked the way this portal turned out because we didn't want a square portal, so. All of this that you're looking at right here is just for looks. The actual portal itself is behind all of this. So it has to be square in order to be able to light it. So we just hit it. Now the backside is not pretty yet. We just, because we're not, we're not standing back here looking at this. So we just put a back on it. Um, quartz pillars. Um, so I, I just thought that came out really nice. And I've been in the nether through this. And the actual, the nether that, that you see goes from there is really interesting. Um, it's an interesting spawn in the nether. And it's only about 600 blocks from the portal for our main um, settlement that I showed you in the beginning of the video. So uh, we, could, uh, we could build through the nether to get to that, or we can go up through a tunnel to get to that. So... Um, so we've got, uh, we got this uh, settlement right here now. Got a good start. I think we could keep going on it if we want to. Um, we're kind of in exploring mode right now. I don't know if we'll build more on that or if we'll go exploring. But I wanted to show off some of these other things that we found. So we got ourselves, uh, we didn't get these. These were just here. They live here. Pandas. So that guy's new. I have never met him before. But over here we've got some where we did some breeding. Things are over in this area, so we found a few and we did some breeding. So this is our little uh, panda family right here. There's Junior. And I think there's another panda off over that way. 
So uh, there's really a tremendous biodiversity here. And we're thinking about doing a, or we had talked about doing a jungle treetop village. So uh, in a future video, you might see that uh, come to life because I'm kind of like, now that we've done some creative mode building, I'm kind of thinking, why not, since we're doing that, why not do something in the treetops here? So um, I think that's it. I just wanted to show that off a little bit and just I just want to stay in touch because I know some people watch, watch regularly and uh, I, uh, I want to hold up my end by providing you with some some kind of fun and hopefully decent quality content. Um, so uh, I think I'll wrap up here. Uh, you know, if you like the video, please uh, click the like button. Um, and if you have questions or comments, please leave those below. You know I like to read those. I like to uh, chat with the people who watch the channel. If you uh, want to make sure that you don't miss out on future videos, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching, and I just wanted to let you know that we almost, we're almost hit the 500 subscriber mark, which I think I mentioned in a previous video was kind of a magic number for me. So we've had 100,000 views on the channel, and now we're about to go over 500 subscribers. So the next big number in my mind after that is 1,000. So I don't know. That doesn't mean anything. It just kind of like inspires me to see that. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for uh to the all of you who subscribed and um thanks to uh anybody who tunes in and watches the channel and for um for all the particip participation as well i really appreciate it it uh, keeps me interested in making these videos uh, makes me want to do more and, and better so um thanks a lot i'll leave it right there and um have a wonderful day and i'll see you all in the next video bye